The promulgation of the constitution in the country has completed eight years. The initial euphoria of the national charter that ensured fundamental rights, including inclusive representation, has, however, given way to public grievances in the face of lack of good governance. Good evening, I'm Prarama Madahal. Let's begin with the main stories. Political parties shouldering responsibility of implementing constitution themselves violating the national charter, fundamental rights and rights of marginalized yet to be ensured. Academic calendar affected as teachers resort to protest by shutting down the schools. Local levels also express dissatisfaction on the education bill. Nepal's economy looks to improve in the coming year with an expected growth of 4.3% based on the latest Asian Development Outlook report by the Asian Development Bank. And Nepal men's national volleyball team's journey at the 19th Asian Games comes to a sour end, crashed out of the group stays following a defeat against Iran. The 8th Constitution Day has been observed by organizing various programs across the country today. The government held a special program at the Army Pavilion in Kathmandu Studikhil this morning on the occasion of the Constitution Day. Addressing the program, Acting Prime Minister and Minister for Defence Purnabadur Khadka said that the government was making efforts to expedite implementation of the Constitution to ensure political stability, peace and good governance. He went on to add that the with the strengthening of the foundations of the Constitution, stability was stabilised and the current priority was good governance, prosperity and social justice. The program was also attended by President Ramchandra Podal, ministers, heads of constitutional departments and foreign diplomats based in Nepal among others. President Ramchandra Podal has said that the country's image has been dented and has stressed on the need to restore it. Addressing a program organized in Chital Nivas on the occasion of the 8th Constitution Day, President Powell said that the political parties must preserve the constitution and the political achievements to safeguard the future of the public. The president called on the concerned entities to defend the constitution that was endorsed by the public. He also stressed on the need to win the confidence for the system of governance with political sincerity and focus on result-oriented works. And Nepal's constitution has entered its ninth year since its promulgation. In the past eight years, political parties have repeatedly violated constitutional norms coming in the way of its effective implementation. It may be recalled that then Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli had dissolved the parliament on two separate occasions that derailed the national politics. On both the occasions, the Supreme Court reinstated the parliament, leaving a lesson for executive heads. However, the Nepali Congress-led coalition government was no different in flowering constitutional norms as Nepali Congress Provincial Assembly leader Uddhav Thapa took the vote of Koshi Province Assembly chairs during the, his four tests. Political parties also exploited constitutional norms and turned Constitutional Council into an entity for political recruitments. Former President Bidya Devi Vandari as well violated the constitution by rejecting the citizenship bill on two occasions. Constitutional experts opine that while flaws exist in the current constitution, it is imperative for parties to uphold its sentiments and work towards improvements instead. The state's constitution has endorsed the rights of minorities and marginalized communities. However, the implementation has remained very feeble. Many representatives from the indigenous and Dalit communities and women say that their rights are still limited as political parties remain indifferent in working as per the constitutional sentiment of inclusion. There are quotas for the marginalized and the minority communities and relevant commissions have also been formed. The constitution also asserts that any discrimination based on caste or gender is punishable. However, stakeholders have said the laws have not been implemented efficiently. Many from the marginalized communities opine they no longer have faith in the constitution, which experts attribute to the apathy on the part of the political parties. In our public voice segment, today we have asked several people in the provinces regarding their take on the eight years of the constitution in Nepal. Let us now take a look at what they had to say. I 
नागरिक अलगसम राम व्यवस्था राम संविधान निम का संविधान में निम का बनाइ तर ते हक अधिकार पा का लगी जनता एकदम तो लड़ाई लड़ने पड़े संविधान ने निर्दिष्ट कर निर्माण कर बाकी नहीं वड़ा तहसम फिर दुईजा महिला प्रतिनिधित्व होने भाई जो संविधान में आयो तो महिला उत्साहित नहीं मैं लगे हाई अज भी संहिता को पूर्ण कार्यान्वयन होना न सकते हो कि तीन तह का सरकार बीच में आप अज कत कन्फ्यूजन हो कि सारा जनता को न विदेश बेचिया Teachers of community schools have resorted to protest by closing schools citing discontent over number of provisions in the education bill local levels as well have expressed reservations regarding the bill minol the government says the disgruntled teachers have ignored the call for the dialogue there are more than 300000 teachers and staff in 35000 community schools across the country that operate classes from kindergarten to grade 12 More than 5 million students have been affected as teachers of community schools in various parts of the country have arrived Kathmandu to protest. Teachers and staff have become agitated citing the education bill is against professional norms. They have expressed discontent saying that the provisions in the bill did not address the issues of teachers promotion, appointment of principals, transfers and work execution and contract based teachers among others. Teachers with different teaching roles including permanent, temporary, those based on contract, aid schools, higher secondary schools, kindergarten, special and technical among others have participated in the protest program. Employees of National Education Board too have participated in the protest against the bill. The local levels too are dissatisfied with the bill. The Association of Rural Municipalities and Municipal Association of Nepal jointly issued a notice alleging the authority of trying to reinstate Education Development Unit and Department of Education among other structures that were previously scrapped. They have said that the provision of selection of principals by Education Development Unit was against the constitution. In the meantime, the Ministry of Education has said that suggestions concerning interests of teachers and staff of community schools have been included in the bill. The ministry has urged the agitated teachers to withdraw their protest programs and participate in talks. The government has already formed a committee for negotiation under the coordination of the Minister for Education. However, the Nepal Teachers Federation has rejected the approach to hold dialogue with the team. saying that they had failed to fulfill past agreements vehicular movement from capital's new baneshwar to maithigarh was affected for more than 4 hours today due to the protest programs nepal's economy looks to improve in the coming year 2024 with an expected growth of 4.3% based on the latest asian development outlook report by the asian development bank The central bank's decision to lower the policy rate by 50 basis points to 6.5% is expected to help lower commercial interest rates and stimulate economic activities. Real estate, wholesale and retail trade among others are expected to perform better in the coming year. However, erratic weather patterns and rainfall attributed to climate change are expected to dent the agriculture produce. Economist Jan Hansen opines the government must meet its ambitious revenue target to avoid a substantial fiscal deficit among others. And this uh, just by changes in monetary policy uh, long term economic growth uh, cannot be increased but uh, this will require structural changes of the economy. Likewise the report highlights that contractionary economic policy to stem price rises considering the geopolitical tensions could affect both production and consumption and eventually the growth of the nation as well. It is now time for our segment public polls where you text us with your opinion. Public polls. Before we ask today's question let us take a look at the result from yesterday's polls. Yes, we asked why is the price of sugar increased drastically during festivities? 70% were for A. arbitrary price setting by traders 24% were for B feeble monitoring and only 6% were for C low production and here is our today's question what is your take on the ongoing teachers protest your options are A politicization of education B crisis of faith 
NC seeking rights. The voting is on. Type NWS, lecture option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Sports News. Team Nepal have crashed out from the volleyball tournament of the 19th Asian Games following their second successive defeat at the tournament. In their second Pool B match, Nepali Spikers suffered a straight set defeat against a strong Iran side. Having thrashed Nepal 25-9 in the first set, Iran secured a 25-15, 25-13 win in the following two sets. Prior to this, Nepal had suffered a four-set defeat against Bahrain yesterday. As matches for rankings will not be held at the Asian Games, Team Nepal will now return home after two defeats. Meanwhile, women's foot volleyball team are set to make their debut at the Asian Games as well. The Nepali Eves take on Vietnam on the 30th of September, followed by a clash against South Korea on the 2nd of October. Under-19 SAF Championship is slated to begin from tomorrow in Kathmandu. Host Nepal are aiming to win the tournament, which is being played at the Dashat Stadium starting tomorrow. Now, defending champions India have claimed that they are the strongest contenders for the tournament. Addressing the pre-match press conference held at the Anfa complex in Sardabato, Lalitpur, Nepal captain Jairat Sikh said that despite a short preparation, Team Nepal were in a good form. Placed in Group A, Team Nepal take on Pakistan tomorrow. The Pakistani side are competing at the tournament for the first time and had arrived in Kathmandu earlier today. Now, prior to this, Nepal and India had been crowned the champions on two occasions, which is each when the tournament was held in the Under-20 and Under-19 formats. That is all for the moment. Up next is the news in Nepali. Thank you for staying with us. Goodbye for now.